Welcome back. Well, another active day across southern Colorado. Now, this is not in southern Colorado. This is in Oklahoma, but a live feed from some storm chasers there. Notice, yeah, some significant weather. That's the leading edge of the storms that have been passing through eastern Colorado today. And again, we'll continue to keep our eye on those, but some pretty fascinating video there as well, just kind of giving you the bird's eye view of how these storms are playing out as soon as they hit the central United States. All right, take you over to the HD Doppler right now. Notice we do have one cell. We showed you this in first weather. It's lost a lot of strength. It's just south of Peyton, tracking east toward Hal, uh, uh, Calhan, I should say, and Rama there. But again, it lost a lot of strength, still likely going to produce some pockets of heavier rain, possibly some light hail as well once it tracks east. Now, the storm we're really keeping our eye on right now, it's a big line of storms throughout the eastern plains. We do have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 545 out of this storm. This core right here is producing about quarter sized hail, very, very gusty winds, upwards of 60 miles an hour. So do keep that in mind again if you live in this. This portion of the state. Here's a little bit wider view of it. Again, right now, east of Lamar there. Now, this tracker that you're looking at right now, again, the storm is tracking about 25 miles an hour. So, if you look at the little box here, that's kind of estimating the times that this storm system will likely move into your neighborhood. So, we're keeping an eye on that. It has showed pretty significant rotation. We don't have any tornado warnings, however, for that particular cell right now. Skyscan really paints the big picture as these storms have moved across the eastern plains. They've really joined up, creating that big squall line. And the area we want to keep our eye on, of course, where that severe thunderstorm is, but usually with squall lines, the most intense storms are going to be in the southern portion of that squall line, which is right near Lamar. Notice the entire eastern half of the state still under that tornado watch. No longer are El Paso and uh, Pueblo counties under that watch right now, but again, still use some caution if you're out in that portion of the state. Convective outlook this is again the area tonight we're likely going to see more severe weather. The area is in yellow again, pretty decent chance there, a slight chance of more severe. Severe weather areas in green touching into the mountains, even again with that marginal chance of severe weather. On the skycast, here's how things are going to play out. Again, those scattered thunderstorms are going to continue to track off to the north and east tonight, making for a very pleasant evening once about 10, uh, 10 this evening rolls around. And again, overnight, we'll see a few scattered showers move through the Black Forest and Monument area, but really for the most part, we'll just see cloudy skies bright and early for your Sunday morning. As for lows tonight, 41 in Colorado Springs, 45 in Pueblo, nearly 50 degrees in La Junta and Lamar. The mountains tracking the 20s, 30s, and nearly 40s out there. Highs tomorrow hitting 63 in Colorado Springs, 71 in Pueblo, and High 70s throughout the eastern plains. Do keep in mind, though, with those warmer temperatures in the eastern plains, we'll likely see a few thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon, pretty much all across southeastern Colorado. They don't look to be carrying near the severity of the storms we've seen today, though. Over the next seven, again, 63 tomorrow. Chance of storms moving through. Should clear up Sunday evening, making way for a nice start to Memorial Day, Monday morning. But again, Monday afternoon, more storms moving in, and those look to pretty much stick with us. Now, the storms this next week are more of your afternoon garden variety. Variety thunderstorms. They shouldn't be those consistent storms. In other words, we'll actually see a little sunshine periodically as these storms move through. 71 Sunday in Pueblo again, warming up to 76 by Wednesday. Little break in the systems on Tuesday in Pueblo, but again, then more thunderstorms move in for Wednesday, Thursday. Kind of a one day only sail there on Friday. Should see a little more sunshine. Canyon City 68 to wrap up your weekend. 67 by Monday. Again, for your Memorial Day, likely some afternoon thunderstorms. So if you do have Memorial Day plans, if they're outside, morning is going to be your best bet to stay dry. Teller County still does have the potential of snow. And when we say snow, not much accumulation, more of the slushy accumulation you could see up there. But really, for the most part, it's just going to be primarily rain. But we can't, again, completely eliminate the chance of snow in Teller County this next week. Snow and Memorial Day. Yeah, a little bit of everything here in Colorado. All right, Jason, thanks a lot. The Rockies trying to play the Giants today, but it's yeah. a while to do it. What, seven hours of baseball coming up, right? Let's do Let's it. Let's play till 11 o'clock.